friends call me Willie. And like I always say, if you my friend, you can call me Willie too. I'm not too long, just got off of work and I'm tired. So I'm gonna do easy peasy crock pot pepper steak. And I'm gonna put it in the pot and then it's gonna be light side for me after I eat my breakfast. Cause it's going in that crock pot right there. We gonna make some crock pot pepper steak and rice. I don't be trying to cook no rice. So bam, we're gonna use Bob Evans. Oh, ah, I'm hungry. I'm ready to eat some Bob Evans too. We gonna have some Uncle Ben's rice. We are not sponsored by any of these people. All right, so let's get to going. Now, you can put all these ingredients in one pot, boom, and then it'll be done in like three or four hours. We are gonna be cooking with some green peppers, onions, garlic, ginger, brown sugar, and the thing about the ginger is, they say they want it mint. I could buy it mint, but I have a garlic presser that I like to use to mince my garlic, and so I decided to try and mince some ginger. Boom, this is my garlic presser. This came from my mama. So anyway, that's what I did. Now I minced the ginger up, actually, and made it more like juice than the pieces of ginger, which is fine with me, because I'm just looking for the taste. So the ingredients that we need are steak. Now they asked for skirt steak. I'm not a real fan of skirt steak, so I bought the steak that I don't like. We need onions, bell peppers. I use green and red bell peppers, and I only use the red for the color. I love mushrooms, so I got some baby portobello mushrooms here that's already chopped and sliced, ready to go. All right, this is the ginger. Two teaspoons full of brown sugar. Black pepper. I'm gonna be using some sea salt. Soy sauce, I do gravy, one pack of ranch dressing, 